Welcome back to another episode of Masala Chai with your boy, me. Uh, it is the first time I'm using my phone as my camera because uh, I realized that the, the webcam isn't good. There were some FPS issues, so here we are. If you're watching this on YouTube, then this would make a lot more sense. But uh, also, for the first time, I actually have Masala Chai here with me because it makes a lot of sense, considering that's what we do in this podcast anyway. <laughs> that's, that's really the name of the podcast. But... Uh, Welcome back. Um, so actually, uh, I've been getting a lot of good reviews for, the, for my first two episodes, and I'm really thankful for that. This will be kind of the first and no, no, it'll be the last episode where I'm alone. Next episode onwards, I'll be having guests, not every episode from next uh, from the next, but um, I'll be trying to get more and more people coming in. So it makes more sense. It gives you guys a bit more uh, more reason to to listen in. Uh, so yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, do give me feedback on how the video is. I have no idea what it looks like because, well, I can't see the screen right now. I'm using the back cameras, so um, it's kind of a, it's kind of something I'm going to have to sacrifice for now. But uh, yeah, I, I hope you guys had an amazing week. Um, it's been a while since I uploaded. I'm sorry for that. My life has been quite, quite hectic recently. I have a lot of work to do and uh, catching up on that alone is kind of, kind of, um, a bit of a task, you know what I mean? Um, and yeah, uh, I, I wanted to actually talk a bit about my my school life because I, I'm, not, I'm not sure why, but I mean, I'll, quite recently or quite often in the past two weeks, I've been dreaming a lot about my school life. Like I just, I, I, I'm just back in school, you know, I'm back in the same routine where I was at home uh, back in, in, in Indonesia. I just I still remember waking up in the morning, going to shower, going to eat, uh, and then just packing my bags and getting inside the car on the way to school. And I remember the music I used to listen to on the way there. I remember me falling asleep, uh, waking up and walking all the way to to my first lesson. Um, those those were pretty good memories. And 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 I feel like I'm not sure why it's been a year. It's been a year and a half actually, more than a year and a half. And I seem to have not gotten away from that period of time in my life uh, i just i haven't moved on um perhaps it's, it's because i've been given too much time to myself i'm thinking a lot sure i'm, I'm kind of busy with with the work i have here but at the same time once i'm done working i have nothing else to keep me occupied other than this or any of my youtube stuff or my university applications or any of the the side stuff i'm doing like my internships whatnot i really don't have anything else uh, i try to keep myself occupied as much as possible with reading a lot of books I'm working. On, I'm reading on a few books right now. For instance, "Think Like a Monk," um, "Monk," "Think Like a Monk" by uh, Jay Shetty. Awesome book so far. Uh, I'm rereading "Crime and Punishment" by Fyodor Do- Dostoevsky. Dostoevsky. I'm not really sure how you say his name. I don't think anyone knows, but uh, I might have to take a look at that again and find, figure out what he's actually what his name is. But it's a great story, uh, and, and I'm reading that. Um, and I'm keeping myself quite occupied in that sense. But I, I feel like on a more emotional and deeper deeper level, I'm you know, I'm still stuck in that uh, in that time. If someone asks me how old I am, I, I am 19, but I don't feel like that's the age I'll be telling them. I, I still feel like I'm 17. And I know this is kind of weird to say. If I was 30 and I think I'm 17, that that's that makes a, that makes a bit more sense because that would be like, oh, he's having a midlife crisis. But for me, you know, I, I still feel like I'm in school because that's that's the emotional maturity I'm at. Uh, or not only emotional maturity, I wouldn't say. It was just the the state of mind I'm at is 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 at school. It's I still haven't left that period of time. Maybe it's because I never got full closure because I, I never graduated properly. I never got to say goodbyes to everybody. Uh, you know, the last time I was on campus, I didn't even know that was the last day of my campus. If, if you know, I, I mentioned this on the first first of the podcast, but um Th- those those are the th- those are the goodbyes that hurt the most, you know, uh, the ones that you don't know are going to be the last time you're going to ever see someone or see see something or be somewhere, you know, th- those ones are the ones that hurt the most because then you realize you never cherish them as as much as you could because you don't realize you don't you don't appreciate the value of something unless it's not there anymore, and that's the sad truth of life. I mean, we all it, it's a human nature to to take something for granted and then when it's gone then only you realize oh crap it's gone now i realize how important it was or how important it it has been or what impact it's had it has made on my life um th- that kind of you know maturity only comes through experience and uh 
truthfully speaking, I'm, I'm kind of grateful that I went through this experience quite early in my life because I feel like this is something that's going to impact me in my future education, my career, uh, when I get into relationships, all this, you know, appreciating what you have now, being grateful, being thankful, that, that kind of stuff, you know, is kind of second nature to me now because I've, I've been through what it feels like to not do that. You know, um, I tend to recently tend to not get as angry as much. I, I, t- I think I mentioned this to a few people or I might have just said this in the podcast uh, last last episode. But I, I tend to have like a burst of anger coming out. But but not anymore. Recently, I've actually been a bit more composed. Maybe I've been in a bit more, you know, acceptable state of mind. I, I feel like I've actually made progress in, into who I really am. Um, you know, this entire national service journey has just been more of a soul searching for me. That's kind of one of the one of the only reasons I accepted to to do this. I had an option of of canceling my my permanent uh, residence here in Singapore and just just going to university and and just do and just deal with it. But I mean, among other reasons, I also decided it was a pretty it was going to be a pretty good thing for me. Is because you know a lot of people they 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 do better when they have like a year or two gap. When they take a gap year, they kind of figure out what they want to do. They, they learn a bit more of themselves. They, they go off, they travel, they do a lot of soul searching, as it is uh, commonly known. And, and I feel like this journey for me so far has been pretty much quite similar to uh, as anyone would do. It's like a soul searching, quite similar to Jay Shetty. Uh, he's, he's very famous. If you haven't heard of him, go, go check him out, Jay Shetty. I mean, yeah, he, he, he's quite awesome. Uh, that guy, he, he has a lot of lessons to teach and, uh, and, and yeah. I mean, while we're at that, I also kind of miss the states. Not gonna lie. Uh, recently, I've I've been editing my uh, my US my US vlogs when I went there in uh, summer of 2019. Um, somehow, it feels like it was yesterday. I really, really miss those times. You know, like it's just reminiscent to to what I feel like would have been what was was an amazing time. I I really did enjoy my time there. Uh, I mean, obviously, being with my family was an amazing experience. Being there with my cousins, my aunt, my uncle, and also going through the um, the Dale Carnegie uh, summer course that was that was a wonderful experience. I met a lot of new people, I learned a lot of new stuff, and you know, I, I just I can't I feel like I haven't let that sink in, let that rest. You know, I still it still it still runs around in my mind quite often. Uh, I tend to put myself in that position where I'm there. And uh, it's it's just been the way it, it has been, uh, you know what I mean? I mean, it's, it's it's quite hard for me to explain because you know I'm the one going through this experience. Explaining this to someone else, as a third person, is kind of difficult. But once you've once you've experienced that, you know that really hurts. But like, yeah, school. I really do miss school. Those were the best years of my life. 2019 and like, 2018 to 2020, like the beginning uh, of. Of you know, oh no, sorry, the ending of my my time in Indonesia. Those three years, those were the best years of my life so far. Um, I'm only 19, but those three years of my life were probably the best. So many things happened. Um, pretty much my senior year of high school. It's kind of you know, it's kind of like a normie thing to say because everyone's gonna say their senior year was awesome, but mine was different. You know, mine was not a a, a normal casual kind of. Oh yeah, he's about to graduate. He's just chilling, doing whatever he wants. No, it was more than that. It was all the all the adventures I've been to. You know, the ESS trip I went on. That that was an amazing part of my life. I've never been on a trip that extravagant with those amount of people, those those people there with me, you know, those experiences, the relationships I molded, the ones I created, the memories I created. Like my phone breaking. I got hit by the uh but by, by this by the wave the the ocean and I, I didn't have a phone for the rest of the week and i i couldn't contact my parents i had to borrow my other friends phones you know use them as a, as a means of communication and that that was an experience i had broken a phone on the second day of the trip um and and i had i had documented that those were amazing times um my, my drama experiences all my my, my exams i had to do cuz in drama you see we had to make uh, our exams weren't like written exams. Our exams were throughout the first and second year. We had to submit our performances, our our uh, our our coursework, kind of. That's pretty much what it is. And and th- th- those were amazing because we had you know a, a lot of fun doing that. Uh, my last performance was um w- was there. 
uh, the group performance, day zero. I remember that very well. It was an amazing day. I, I will never forget that in my life. It, it was been, it, it's a very exhilarating moment. Uh, all my teachers there, um, all my friends and mates and, and, and you know, classmates and, and uh, you know, man, all the people working there, the technicians, the, the helpers, those guys, you know, we, we've had a bond that, that that's quite hard to get rid of. And I feel like that's something I, I definitely miss. Uh, and that's something that I will be forever thankful for to Indonesia because I realize now that that quite sadly I can never see Indonesia the way it was to me before because now I'm not there as a student I'm not working so to the country itself I'm just a tourist you know the country that's given me my life for the past 14 years the, the country that I've been in as a resident I felt like a citizen, but in reality, I'm just a tourist. And that's what and that's what really hits me hard. Because if I go back to that country now, I will feel like I won't feel like a person who's lived there. I'll just feel like a person who's who's new, you know, who who, who doesn't belong. Just just the thought of that really really does hurt. You know? You know, I just realized that now. I, I legit, I, that was just a thought that came into my mind. But, but yeah, that actually, that, that hurts a lot. I mean, I'm not sure if people would understand because most of the people I was with were, were people who live there. They have a, you know, they have some sort of relation to the country. But I'm, I was just, I'm an Indian guy, dude. I'm Indian by, by passport. I mean, probably soon I'll be S- Singaporean. Um, but yeah, that, that's just quite sad. It really is. But I guess this this podcast episode on its own is a, is a method for me to move on. It's a method for me to, you know, just appreciate what I've, what I've been given, the opportunities that I've been presented, and here I am. You know, I grasped those opportunities, I used what I could, and I have grown. Um, and yeah, that's... It is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I really don't know what to say. I, I've pretty much released my emotions, as as people might say. Uh, yeah, I. It's pretty much it. I, I I have nothing else to discuss today. I, as a podcast, usually I'd have an idea, but today I just walked in with a pure sense of, of emotion, just to to talk my heart out. The next episode, however, we will be discussing my. Uh, actually, I'm not even sure. I, none, none of the guests have properly confirmed. I have a few guests lined up, but they haven't really told me in which order they're going to be showing up. So, you know, for all I know, next episode could be could be someone that I never even had planned initially. So uh, we'll see. We have a lot of interesting stuff coming on, guys. Uh, so so please do keep track on uh, what happens on my social media. On Instagram, follow me at Adrian Roshan one um, Follow me on YouTube. Well, subscribe keep playing if you aren't watching this on that then do go ahead and listen to me on spotify as well uh just you know hit up a like you know there's always going to be questions and polls in spotify below the podcast while listening you can fill that up and help me out because that would really do you know now, now give me a perspective on what you guys need or what you guys are expecting to gain from this podcast if you listeners want to join in as a as a guest as well then please tell me on my Instagram. Well, I'd send me a DM and I would be glad to have you here with me. But uh, as always, stay safe, everybody. Make sure to, you know, wear your masks wherever you are. If you aren't vaccinated, go ahead and get yourself vaccinated. Please don't be anti-vax. Don't do that. Please don't. Just no. God, no. Stop. Please. You know? Oh, God. Oh, yeah. I could talk about The Office. You know, I've been watching The Office a while for a while now, uh, and uh, and I can talk about that next 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 episode. The Office is a wonderful TV show. It's had it's made a great impact on my life, and I will talk about that another episode, maybe even the next episode with my other friends. And please make sure to leave a like on this Spotify playlist, and make sure to follow it. And as I said before, rate, comment, and subscribe on YouTube. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado. This is Masala Chai with your boy, Adrian, and peace out.